good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a brand new idea coming to the channel every single month, and I think you guys are going to be very excited about it. It's going to require a new championship. It's going to require customs. It's going to require some epic-ish going down. But today, as you guys can see, besides one, one you haven't seen, which we'll get into, I promise to God we'll get into it, this new Finn Balor custom that looks super sick, nasty particles. We'll dive into that. But first, you guys will notice we have a collection of customs and fix-ups right here, and if you'll notice, you're probably like, Brad, I've seen that one, and I've seen that one, and I've seen that one. Haven't seen this one yet, ho. But you've seen that one, and that one, and that one. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing in a new thing that I'm going to do every single month. You guys know we have appointments. We have thinking outside the box. We have surgery. We have all of these things where we're constantly making fix-ups, making customs of WWE action figures. So what I decided to do is I'm going to need your help on this because it's going to involve you guys as well. So you're definitely going to want to take notice to this. I don't know what the series is going to be called just yet, but I'm trying to work out names and stuff. Every single month, probably one of the last few days of the month, once I'm done making customs or fix-ups for that month, we're going to bring them all together for one video like this. We're going to break down a few of them, maybe talk about some contenders and stuff like that. And I'm going to make a new figure championship belt to the best custom of the month, or the best custom, the best MDT custom, something like that. I'll come up with a name for it, and we will have it on the line every single month. So let's just say uh, for the month, of whatever, the month of May this year, May 2020, uh, this Jeff Hardy right here wins the championship, okay? Obviously, we're not using the United States Championship, but say this is the championship that I create, okay? Jeff Hardy, the clown, or the Joker Jeff Hardy clown custom is the custom of the month, so he would be the champion, okay? So the next month, we would create new customs, right? We would do surgery, we would do fix-ups, we would do customs that I don't show you guys on video, and then at the end of the month, when we had 10 or 11 or 12 or however many, maybe a hundred. Who the hell knows how many customs I'll do in a month. We'll bring them all back together and we will have a custom championship competition and then we will have the champion, obviously the Joker Jeff Hardy would go up against those other 12 customs or whatever and it would be up to you guys to decide would Jeff Hardy retain the championship or would a new custom that we made that month take over the championship. Let's just say we made this Seth Rollins in, in June. Okay, so May's champion was Jeff Hardy. You guys decided, you know what, that fix up Seth Rollins right there is better. Okay, well then the championship would go over to Rollins. So I guess I would make my own decision and then you guys could get in on the voting. Maybe we could plug in a little vote there and we could get it all going and, you know, decide that way. But I thought that would be a really badass idea. I thought that would be really cool and I think it would be really, really sick to do something like that. But we do have a new custom here today, guys. We have this new Finn Balor custom that we actually made on Action Figure Appointment yesterday and then I told you guys that I was going to repaint it and do some different things with it. So that's what I've done. I took the Elite 70 Finn Balor body and I took an extreme, not extreme, what are we saying? The TLC 2-pack Elite AJ Styles and Finn Balor, the little head sculpt that comes with that, the, the entrance grits head sculpt, I think, but it's got the paint chipping. It's supposed to be mid-match or whatever. I took that head sculpt. I put that head on the Elite 70 Finn Balor. Of course, we also switched out the lower legs and kick pads with the Elite 74. I took that and I pretty much just repainted the torso and that head sculpt and kind of just flip flopped the black and white. I just flip flopped it, made it like a negative looking attire and I think it looks pretty badass. I like the red color. I think the red with the white uh, in the you know, with the white behind the red, it actually makes the red look a little bit lighter and brighter than it did when it was in the black color. As you guys can see over here, I think that's just a trick on the eyes that's happening because I remember when the figure first released, I didn't like the red on the figure. I guess it's because the, you know, the, the black kind of mutes it a little bit. They definitely went way too dark on that red. I think it should have been much brighter and more saturated. But anyways, you guys can see you do have the white going all the way around on the face. I got the black teeth painted in here. I did paint black around the eyes. I didn't like the way it looked when it was just whited out. And then you have the teeth on there. Uh, there are some details missing. I did want to come in here with Jesus Christ, Seth Rollins. You trying to embarrass me, Brad? I did want to come in here and I did want to do some other things like some details. Maybe some black in here. Or maybe some different layering of different different shades of red, black, or white, like some grays and stuff like that to create some more depth with it. But I like the way it looks. I think the sleeves look okay. Maybe you could add some white to the sleeves here, some white right here on the trunks, maybe a few white or red details on the legs. But I didn't want to have too much paint on it. I wanted to leave it like it is. Um, I do have to come in here and put a couple white lines through here. And I did not do anything to the back with the, you know, the Jack the Ripper style attire because I didn't want to have to repaint over this. And plus, there's like a little matte 
like sealant over this where I don't think the paint would hug or stick to the plastic as good as it would on the front. But I'm digging the white finger taped on the, uh, or the white tape on the fingers of the hands. I like the teeth on the knee pads. I think that's clean. And then the Elite 74 kick pads and lower legs are what really completes it. I just like the way it looks, man. It looks pretty badass. I would love to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. And I think uh, for the month of May, I guess we'll bring it in June because I don't know how we could, you know, I don't have a championship. I guess I could, you know, make a new video talking about that championship and showcasing the new MDT custom championship. But I also thought about what if we made two different championships? We could have a custom where it would be any figure that had paint, you know, like the Finn Balor or the Jeff Hardy. That would be your painted customs. And then we could do a fix-up championship that would go to, uh, you know, Seth Rollins or this Edge back here or another Seth Rollins or the John Cena Super Showdown. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Should we make two different championships or should we just keep it with the one? But I thought this was a really genius idea. I'm also going to need help with ideas on the championship. I don't know if I want it to be like the MDT Battle Royal Championship, which I'll have to go over here to get. As you guys can hear the audio levels kind of dropping down there. But uh, this is the MDT Battle Royal Championship. And it, you know, it's pretty unique. It's got the blue strap on it. It's got all the different details on it and stuff like that with our channel colors in it. Uh, I would really like to see an MDT Championship style where, you know, it has the MDT logo on it and it has nice bright colors and logos on it. I'm not sure if I can do that because I'll need custom decals to make something like that happen, but I'm interested to know down in the comment section if you guys would like that idea, and I think it'd be cool, you know, get all the thinking outside the box customs, get all the surgery customs and fix-ups, get all the action figure appointments, and any customs that I paint, which, you know, it kind of sucks because what if, you know, I, I mean, I guess if I didn't make a custom, if I didn't make a custom for that month, then the champion would just retain, and what if we have a custom that's just undefeated? Like, what if I had that Seth Rollins Buzz Lightyear custom. What if I started it back then and that thing was in here? Would that thing ever lose? You know, it would take a really good custom or fix up to defeat it. But I guess what we can do is at the end of every month, run through every single custom in the batch that we made that month. And then at the end, you guys would get the vote. So obviously you guys already saw the Finn Balor right here that we just made. This is the newest custom of the month. And I don't know what to call this. So if you guys have any cool ideas for the attire name, let me know down below. Uh, you of course have your Joker slash clown Jeff Hardy face paint, which is just pretty much a head repaint, but it's still there. You have the Fantasy Attire Fix-Up SummerSlam Seth Rollins with the Buddy Murphy kick pads and SummerSlam 2015 arms. You have the Super Showdown John Cena Fix-Up that we made yesterday on WWE Action Figure Appointment right there with the new Elite 76 arms. We also have the Orange Cassidy Fix-Up where we fix this man's height, and now I feel like he's too short, which is kind of crappy, but you know, you gotta just deal what you gotta deal with. You have the other Fantasy Attire Seth Rollins with the Elite 37 and Top Talent Spin Balor kick pads. You have the MDT Hills Gate Attire Roman Reigns but with red tights instead of just his bare legs. So you got red tights Roman Reigns. You have the Elite 8 Edge fix up with the Rated R armbands in the red colorway to of course match the entire thing. We have the updated tattoos on the Kevin Owens so we got the full sleeve completed and then the uh, T-Rex skull over here on the left arm and of course this is a fix up. Not only a custom but a fix up with the uh, what is it? The Pat Patterson Elite Walmart exclusive uh, boots on there. I love that part of it. You also have the all black attire right here with the Elite 70 vest and the gauntlets on the wrist with the black knee pads. All black attire right there for Seth Rollins. We have the pink ricochet by Mac decals, but it also was a fix up. So I didn't make this custom straight up. It's more of a fix up because I just switched out the boots for Bret Hart boots that we did on action figure appointment. We also have Nude Sev, who is our other naked custom next to our Seth Streak and Rollins which is right there. You got all that good stuff going on with the WWE Championship cover and his gonads. And then the last custom that we have is this Buddy Murphy alternate attire with the black wrist tape. It also has the black details going down on the shorts. It's kind of chipping right there. I need to seal that thing up. It's got black details on the belt. You have the Elite 73 Daniel Bryan knee pads, lower legs, and kick pads. And that is all of our customs that we made in the month of May. Now, if we're going to declare our first champion here, guys, I'm going to have to know what you guys think won for the month of May now. If it were up to me, I would probably
probably choose either. I really like the Kevin Owens, but I understand if you guys don't want to go that way. I, you know, with like it's obviously not near the work, and some of that work was already completed. So I would understand if you guys didn't want to select that. But for me, I would say it's definitely probably Finn Balor. I like the Finn Balor a lot. I got to get him over here in front of the screen. If I were picking a champion, I would pick Finn Balor. If I had a couple runners up, I would probably say the uh, the fix up. The best fix up is probably Seth Rollins. The best custom is Finn Balor, and then uh, any runner up customs or uh, any runner up customs would be Jeff Hardy, and then Kevin Owens, and then any fix ups for me, I would have uh, probably the uh, the uh, the Edge. I like the John Cena too, though, and then possibly the other Rollins. I don't freaking know, man. There's a lot of stuff to go around, but let me know what you think, guys. Two championships, one for fix ups, one for customs. Let me know what you think of all of these ideas down in the comment section below, as well as this custom Finn Balor, what you think of it, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I was going to upload this early this morning, but obviously the Finn Balor custom was not done yet, so I could not do that, but I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.